Hi there and welcome, it's Jennifer McGuire. Today I have a product release close-up video featuring the July 2017 My Favorite Things release. I had a lot of people ask if I would do this video since this is a special release for My Favorite Things. It's their 11th birthday, so it's a special release that's larger and it has a lot of celebrate and birthday themed products that are really unique and definitely worth checking out. So in the video, I'll give you a closer look at each of these products and some ideas for using them in hopes that it helps you decide if any of them are worth investing in for you. And again, it is My Favorite Things 11th birthday. A big shout out to them. I adore the folks at My Favorite Things. And if you are watching this video close to the date that I post it, I do have a discount code over on my blog that you can use over at My Favorite Things and also have a giveaway. Okay, so let's dive in and start with the dyes first. First, we have the Celebrate Speech Bubble. Now, I'm a big fan of large dyes, especially when there's a word incorporated. So this one is a great one. Now, it's a large speech bubble that the letters Celebrate pop out. Now, a lot of the products in this release are great for shaker cards. So you're going to hear me say that a lot. But this one, you could have a little shaker window behind each letter with different colors of beads shaking inside behind each letter. But for something easier, and what I would like to do, you could do die cut inlay. So basically you could die cut this from white cardstock, so you have the speech bubble in white. Then use your scraps to cut out all the letters and pop them in, in the, like a puzzle piece, and you have some very quick and easy to make birthday cards. You could also die cut these letters from felt and pop those in. Or say you do some experimenting with some techniques. You could create a bunch of backgrounds, die cut the letters from that and inlay those. So this one I think you can do a lot of things with and I can't wait to put it to use. Now another die favorite of mine from this release is this Celebrate. Now this is a great size because it's large, yet you can still fit it either horizontally or vertically on a card. And by the way, this white piece of cardstock to the right that I have throughout this video is a typical card size. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. I just wanted you to kind of get an idea of the size of all the products, so I thought that would be helpful. Now I really like that this die is large, however it is detailed. So you could do any kind of background technique, then maybe die cut this celebrate from maybe a glitter cardstock, or you can create your own special die cut by maybe cutting it from black cardstock, putting some shimmer on it, and then doing a couple coats of clear embossing. And that would really make it look like a beautiful embellishment that you can put on top of any card. I also think it'd be fun to die cut some balloons and have them towards the top of the card and then have strings go down and tie to the word at the bottom. One of the things I like to do is die cut the word and put it in the pocket so I can easily see when flipping through what the die cut looks like. Now this is a really fun product too. This is the balloon shaker window and frame die set. So there are all these little pieces. It cuts the balloon, which is a frame and a window, and it cuts the little strings that hang down and a bunch of tiny little pieces that you can use on uh, use as confetti. Now this is meant to be used for a shaker card, and this is so fun. They are also selling these balloon shaker pouches. So that's this little piece that you see here, comes a few in a pack. I like that these are th thin. I've seen these before in the past, but these are thinner than others I've seen. So you can see there's not much bulk to them. But basically, this is a pre-cut piece that's the perfect size to go with this die set. And watch, that frame pops right around it. And so you can easily make a shaker card. So what you do is you use a strong adhesive to adhere that frame right around the top of that little shaker pouch. So you put adhesive around there and lay the frame on top so that hides everything. Then you flip it over and on the other side of the pouch around the edge, you put some strong adhesive again. Then you could put shaker bits behind that and put it on a card. There are many other variations of it, but this really makes the shaker card business so much easier to do. And this isn't too bulky like some others I've seen before. So you can see it goes right onto a card. You also have the piece you can put behind it. So if you want it to make it look like one color card or one color balloon, you can. And then it has all those little confetti pieces this die set makes that you can put on the inside or you can use sequins or beads or some of the other things I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm really excited about this. This is going to make making shaker cards easy. And again, there isn't too much bulk to them. 
Now, along the same lines, they have the star shaker and window frame. So this works the same way. It cuts the star frame and it cuts a window. So if you want to do other variations of a shaker card. And there are star pouches that fit nicely inside. So again, this will allow you to make a shaker card very easy. These are sold separately, the pouches from the dies, I believe, but you can use them separately too. So you could use the frames without the shaker and make a non-shaker card if you wanted to. But boy, does this make it easy. I'll be sure to do a how-to video on those soon. Another product I'm excited about in this release is the confetti numbers. So see that die set on the left? It cuts a bunch of numbers. And they're these tiny little ones. You can use them as confetti inside your shaker card or to decorate a card. So you could say you're making a card for a three-year-old boy. You could fill that shaker card with a bunch of little threes and some sequins and they would love it. You could also just die cut a number, maybe 27, and put that on the front of a card. So just add it like onto a card to make it more personal. So here you can see how you can put these little pieces inside of a little balloon shaker window and they'll just move around in there freely. So I'm really excited about these die cut confettis. It helps to make the card a little extra special. Next we have the happy birthday circle frame. Now of course you could use this for shaker card also. However, I think it would be fun for a window card. So what you could do is take a card and die cut a two inch circle from the front of it because that opening there is two inches. Then you can die cut this piece and put it around that little frame. Then maybe stamp a cute little critter to have peeking out from the window and have a balloon coming out from it too. You could also cut this in half and just have one happy birthday, a half circle and create it along with a rainbow that you create with some circle stacking dies. A lot of ways that you can use this one. You could even cut those little happy birthday letters off and glue them anywhere you want on your card. And by the way, one more idea that Lila and I came up with is to put a photo of somebody in that window to make their, pers their birthday card personalized. Okay, so next we have the U Trio die set. There are three U's in here, a lowercase cursive, uppercase cursive, and then the block letters. I really want to take that lowercase U, die cut it a bunch of times from the same color cardstock as my background, and glue it repeatedly over the background. So you just have a tone-on-tone -tone look where it's very subtle and it could just be a fun textured background. You could also use the block U letters to create little shaker letters if you wanted to. Or you can use the matching All About You stamp set. I'll show you this more in a moment. The block letters in this are the same as the block letters in the die set. And there are a bunch of great sentiments on here that team up nicely with the word you. And I like how they fit right along the you die cuts. So the sizing is right to use these two together. And I'll talk more about that stamp set in a little bit. I do like that these dies actually have a larger size so you can stamp the sentiment and have it kind of floating over the letters and it doesn't cover up the letters too much. Here we have the Big Thanks die. Now these have large letters and I die cut them from a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece so you can see what it looks like centered in the middle. Fits perfectly. You could do like a shaker panel behind that or just uh, put some pattern papers peeking through from the front. But I did wanna show you how you can use the thanks letters themselves. Sometimes when I go to adhere individual letters onto my card, I have a hard time with the spacing and the centering. So I thought I'd show you a trick with this so that you know how to use both the negative and the positive pieces of this die. So I'm taking the thanks negative space and I'm temporarily adhering it to the card that I want my letters to be on. Then I'm taking a strong liquid adhesive. You could use a glue pen if you want to. And I'm just going to fill those letters, the little opening on the negative space. But be sure not to get it on that blue cardstock too. You just want it in the opening. Once you have adhesive in all the openings, you can pop those letters in like a puzzle piece and just press them down and hold them there until you think they're dry. Then once it's dry, you can just go ahead and peel away the negative space and your letters are perfectly spaced on your card. So that's just a great trick for large individual letter dies like this one. But I do like that those letters are perfectly, perfectly connected so the spacing has no guesswork. 
Here we have the fringe scallop border dies. Now I'll be honest, when I first saw these, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with them. But once I die cut them, I realized that they're longer than a card. So you can put them at an angle and kind of create a party scene. And that party scene would look great with a lot of the birthday themed stamp sets and dies in this release. Now also, I think it'd be fun to use this for a grass border. One thing you could do is crumble up the little fringe a little bit to make it look more textured, more grass-like, and use that along the bottom of your card. You could even double up. Do that with two pieces and put one behind the other. Then you have lots of texture, and it really does look like grass. I also look forward to die cutting a bunch of these borders from various colors of cardstock and then gluing them to cover an entire background, maybe in a rainbow order. I think it'd be a beautiful looking background for any occasion. Next we have the Essential Fishtail Sentiment Strips. Now these are really handy because in this die set there are four different sizes of sentiment strips and they have the nice little V ends. So you don't have to try to cut your own perfect little strip. These are just the right size to fit a lot of little sentiments, including the sentiments in that All About You stamp set that I showed you earlier. So you can see how nice those stamp in there. And now check it out. You can take that little strip and position it right on top of that bold U word. And I think that'd be a fun sentiment on a card. So if you want to save some time, these little sentiment strips sure will do that. They're nice and handy. Another thing you can do with the smallest one is to fold it in half and then run a string through it and do that with a bunch of them. And it can look like a party banner. And then on each of those, you could put maybe a number for the person's birthday or stamp letters to make, spell out their name. A lot of things you can do with that too. So you can use these sentiment strips creatively too. Now the last die in this release is the gift card envelope. So it cuts the shape and also creates the score lines. So you know how to put this together very easily. Now I have a few other gift card envelopes, but what's special about this one is when you assemble it, it looks like a miniature envelope. It's just perfect in every way. It's absolutely adorable and it's a perfect size for a gift card. You could also instead put a tiny little note if you wanted to inside. You could also put maybe like a die cut letter on it so you can use the person's initial on it. You could also use this as an accent on a card. So you could leave the envelope open, glue it on the front of a card, maybe have some cute little critters in there, maybe some folded up money, just something fun to do. And I like how easy it is to assemble. Here we have a stencil in this release. This is the mini cloud stencil and I am so excited about this. On each edge are four different cloud patterns. So you can easily ink up a cloud background by just putting ink along the edges. You can even flip it over for four more patterns. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video using a cloud stencil from My Favorite Things that's very similar. I will link to that here so you can get some ideas on how to use this. This just happens to be a mini cloud pattern, so it works even better on small cards. So this, I think, is a definite must-have from this release. It's inexpensive, and check it out. You can flip it over and create an ocean with it, too. Really excited about this. A great way to create a background for any scene. Okay, so now we have the stamps. First is the handwritten happiness. I really like the look of these handwritten messages. And I see a few in there that I could use often. I send a lot of celebration cards to friends just over accomplishments like losing weight or exercising more or making it through the day as a mom of five, whatever it is. So the let's celebrate and oh happy day are definitely fun ones to use. There are also a lot of birthday ones on here that would work great with some of the birthday dies that I showed you earlier. Like this Make-A-Wish fits nicely inside of the balloon shaker window if you wanted to. Great stamp set. Here's that All About You stamp set I showed you earlier. I really think you should take a close look at the sentiments on here. There are pretty much every occasion can be covered in a unique way. So in here you've got Life is Tough But So Are You, um, We're So Happy For You, uh, dear, sweet, wonderful you, you've got this, uh, you amaze me, you make me happy. A lot of different things in here. So be sure to check it out. A lot of ways you can use it. 
Now, I personally was really excited about the Happy Hippo stamp set. Not only is it adorable, but here in Cincinnati, Fiona the Hippo was born premature, and we've been cheering her on, and she has been such a joy. So Lila and I were really excited to see this stamp set. Now, what I want to do is stamp that hippo there on the left several times going across a card making it look like he's doing cartwheels you can put balloons coming from his hands you could even put a bird on his head and use the sentiment there that says wishing you a hippo bird day really clever little things in here and these images are easy to color and you could just have so much fun with them now i also like that the coordinating dies are available for these if you wanted to purchase those and they cut out even the smallest images in the set so for all you card making cat lovers out there, we have the Smitten Kitten stamp set. Now, cats make me sneeze, but these cats are just the cutest. So I definitely will be using this. I also like that they incorporated some new fresh sentiments that work for the cat images and that there are so many different cats in it. So you can kind of create a scene with them if you wanted to. And remember, you can use some of, some of the party images from the hippo stamp set with the cats. That's one of the great things about My Favorite Things is they have a lot of images that are the same style and sizing, so you can use different sets together, and I really like that benefit. And I had another idea for that big thanks die from earlier. You could stamp and cut out a bunch of these kitties and have them kind of peeking out from the letters. Maybe have one peek out from the T and one peek out through the K. Just tuck it behind and pop them through. I think that'd be a fun way to use any of these critter images along with that thanks die. Now for all the dog lovers out there, we have the Puppy Pals. I like that the style of this puppy is very different from others I've seen, and there are a bunch of them included, so you can stamp them all together. I also really like the sentiment that says, you are my favorite human, so I could see me using that on a lot of different cards. And a few of these dogs I think would be fun to have peeking out from that thanks die again. I'm definitely going to have to create a card using those because I think it'd be fun to do. Now, My Favorite Things does have two new Pure Innocence stamp sets in this release. They are smaller stamp sets. I just put them together in one pocket here. The Happy Cake Day, I think it'd be fun to die cut those confetti numbers and put maybe the birthday number on the cake. And then there is the Happy Birthday to You. These images are really a lot of fun to color. In this one, you could even cut the box out and just use the present by itself if you wanted. Next, we have another small stamp set, and this is Fierce Friends. You can see these are such fun and playful images and sentiments. But what I'm most excited about is that they coordinate nicely with this larger set you see here on the right called Jungle Gym. And what's unique about the Jungle Gym stamp set is there are big images. So a lot of times I find myself using a bunch of different images together to create a scene. Well, these have like scene-like images already put together in a stamp so it takes a lot of the effort out i also like that the sentiments are about together like this one up here that says you're my favorite person to hang out with really fun so you could just stamp one of these images there are coordinated coordinating dies that make cutting out easy and you fill a lot of space on your card so i'm really excited about this it'll save me a lot of time now in a completely different style, we have sketchy flowers. I call these technique stamp sets where you can really do some fun techniques with them. So what I would do is stamp the solid image first. These are meant to be layered together. Stamp the solid image first with distress ink and a little bit of water. So you have like a watercolor shape. Once it's dry, you can gold heat emboss the outline on top of it and get some really fun artsy looking cards. There are coordinating dies available also. And last but not least, there are two 6x6 six six pattern paper pads in this release. And I'll be honest, I don't buy pattern paper pads, that's hard to say, all that often because I don't use them. I find that they're hard for me to incorporate into cards. However, these two pads are soft colors and they're tiny prints. One is polka dot and one is stripe. So I find that they're subtle enough that I could either stamp directly on them or use them like as a background and it wouldn't distract too much from other things. So definitely um, worth checking out these two pattern paper pads. Now I think there are 24 sheets in each pad and there are two of each design. So wanted to share those also. So there you have the fastest look I could possibly give at the new My Favorite Things release. Congratulations to My Favorite Things. Love you guys and I'm really proud of you. 
If you are interested in any of the products I shared here, they are linked below in my YouTube description. But again, always go to my blog. I have a lot more information there and I often do giveaways. Thanks for watching. In the middle are two more videos for you and I hope you'll return again soon.